Hello everyone, I am Rahul and welcome back to my YouTube video. In this video, I am going to show you how we can create a code pipeline using Terraform code. So in this video, I am not going to show you how to write a code. Instead, I will add the details of the GitHub repo in the description so you can get the ready code available with you. So in video, I will just walk you through the code and the files which are there in the code. Let's start the video. So the first file is the provider.tf file. In this file, we have mentioned the Terraform related information like the provider which we would be needing is AWS and we are using the official AWS provider and the region detail for the Terraform to create the resources. Then we have the gitignore file. In the gitignore file, I have mentioned the file names which are actually for the Terraform like Terraform star. So it will ignore the dot Terraform folder entirely. Then I have added the terraform.tf state and the backup file from the git. So when I will push the code to the github, it will ignore these files. Next is iam.tf file. So in this file, we are creating the role. So this role is basically to create a service role for a code build project. So we have a variable called code build underscore project underscore name and we are appending the service role to it and we are creating a role. Then the policy which is actually attached to this role is a assume role policy. So we are allowing this role to be assumed by the code build service. So we have added the service name here. Then we are actually adding the administrator access policy to this role. So this is for the demo purpose I am doing. But for you, make sure you are actually attaching the list privileges to the role. So it should prevent any mishappening due to the code. Then we are creating the code pipeline role. So this is also a service role which we are creating. So here we are actually allowing code pipeline service to assume this role. Similarly, we are also adding the administrator access policy to this role. So when the code pipeline will run, it should have access to the code commit repository and the code build project which we have created. Now there is a main.tf file. So in the main.tf, we are creating the resources. So first, what we are doing, we are fetching the details of the code commit repository using data block. So we will manually create the repository. Here, I have added a variable. So we need to mention the name of the repo. So the data block can fetch the details of the repository. Then we are creating the code build project here. We are referring to the role which we have created in the earlier code. We are providing the information like what kind of the compute we would be needing, what kind of image we would be using and the type of the container. So we are using Linux container here. Then we are adding the source detail. So basically we are using the code commit, then the location is clone HTTP URL. So from where it will get the code. Then we are mentioning the build spec. So in the build spec file, we are we are giving the build command. So when the build project will trigger, it will run these commands. So basically we are updating the Linux. We are installing the unzip package. Then we are downloading the terraform.zip file we are extracting it and we are moving the terraform executable under the bin folder then we are checking the version of the terraform 
we are initializing the terraform and we are applying the terraform now we don't need any artifact in this particular build so we are actually adding the no artifacts type here and the source version would be main now we are creating the code pipeline here we are giving the name as terraform pipeline then the role which we have created where we have given the administrator accesses then for the artifact store if we are storing any artifact we are creating the s3 bucket which is here so we are creating a s3 bucket called pipeline artifact terraform pipeline you can update the names according to your standard then we are mentioning the stages so here the first stage is source so basically we want to trigger this pipeline when we are pushing any code to our repository so here we are mentioning the name like source action source would be code commit and the repo name would be our variable here and the branch name would be main similarly we are adding the second stage called build so build action would be to trigger the build spec file and we are mentioning the details of the build project which we have created earlier so this is the variable .tf here we have mentioned two details one is the repo name and second is the code build project name now let's go to the console and check so we have already created the video hyphen the repo in the repo we have created a provider.tf file and this provider.tf file is basically it's the same file which we used for the uh, local one only difference is we have added the backend here because when we use the pipeline we have to keep our backend as a remote one so in in our case we are adding the s3 here so our state would be stored on the s3 so now let's run the code and create the pipeline so first i will do terraform init now i will do terraform plan okay so we are creating all the resources here there is no error in our code now run terraform apply with auto approve Okay, now let's check the console so here now we would be able to see the pipeline which is in the running state let's see so so it is able to fetch the code from the code commit and now the build is in progress let's see the logs if we have any error in the code we need to fix it I will fast forward it to save our time.
So here we can see the Terraform has been successfully initialized and also it actually shows the output for the Terraform apply command. So our pipeline which we have created is properly working. Now it is in the succeeded status. So now we also need to delete it. If you are testing anything, always try to destroy the resources which you have created. So thanks for watching the video. If you have any doubts, you can comment in below. Thank you.